What's going on guys? I'm Tap, I play games. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our Smackdown Just Bring It Definitive Edition Story Mode playthrough. We have like, I think I counted last video, like 11 unlockables left here. And so we're almost done with this playthrough, but uh, we're not quite done yet. We still got some more uh, asses to kick. So, if you guys like this series so far, make sure you go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, last video. We unlocked Jerry Lynn. Why not use him? Let's do it. Where's my boy? My boy Jerry. There he is. Let's go. I have a... Uh, I have a... An objective of this video and that would be to unlock Mick Foley so that's what we're trying to do here today he's asking us if we want to form a tag team he's asked us this 10 million times and we didn't we never want to do it I don't know why he keeps asking don't want to form a tag team what do you, who do you think I am some clown Dean Malenko coming out okay I feel like we've seen a lot of Dean Malenko throughout our playthroughs maybe I'm wrong but a couple videos we fought Dean Malenko did we not to Jerry, you can't hide backstage all night. So he's gonna call Jerry out, who is our heavyweight champion, obviously. Uh oh, here comes Jerry Lynn. What a stud. That's an ECW legend right there, Jerry Lynn. So we're not gonna run down to the ring and attack. We're going to talk trash. Don't start thinking you're gonna get a title shot before me. Face it, you're washed up. Tell you what, these insults would hit a little different if we didn't hear them uh, 10 million times already. No one around here wants to see you in a title match. Oh! Dean Malenko doesn't even know how to act right now. I don't know how to talk. <clears throat> now we gotta go talk to Frosted Tips Michael Cole, which is always just an absolute treat. There's my boy. Why did you say that to Dean Malenko? Because I want to kick his ass, that's why. Why else would you think I'd say that? I want to kick his butt tonight. Do you know where Vince is? I think I saw him in the parking lot. Or no, it'd be Michael Cole. Um, I don't know what voice that was, but... Um, I think I saw him in the parking lot. WWE. 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 I saw Vince McMahon going to the parking lot a while ago. WWE. Where is the goddamn parking lot is what I want to know. There it is. I can read signs. Okay, here we go. I want to deal with Dean Malenko right now. I'm very busy right now. Jerry, I'm very busy right now. I have time to deal with these problems. Okay, so go get ready for this match then. Tonight, you will face Dean Malenko. Is that a good Vince? I don't know if that's a good Vince. Seems like a good Vince, but I just kind of woke up. My voice is a little deeper than normally would be. Uh, 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 I don't think I'd get my voice that deep uh, otherwise. All right, let's go. We got to deal with Dean Malenko. What did Draylon do? Right now. So far, first 20, 20 seconds, Dean Malenko's kicking my ass. Get off. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, really? We got to use one ECW legend to unlock another one. Jerry Lynn for Mick Foley. The Malenko was an ECW. This is a very ECW game, if you really think about it. A lot of ECW. You got the Dudleys. You got Jerry Lynn. You got Taz. You got uh, McFoley. No, man, Dean Malenko's kicking my ass right now. Oh, I just reversed him. Let's go. Who else is in here from ECW? Benoit, Guerrero, Jericho. They all had stints in ECW. Rey Mysterio and Rob Van Dam. Obviously, Rey Mysterio wasn't in WWF at the time. Rob Van Dam, I think, was around this time in WWF, or he was about to be. Um, you definitely could have put Van Dam in this game, I think. I don't know. I don't know exactly the, the, how the years worked out, but if this game had Van Dam and Mysterio, whoo! But obviously, I, I think it has a good roster as it is, so I don't really mind. Oh damn! Oh, did you hear that sound? What was that sound I just made? Was that my back hitting the concrete? Let's do it again. I don't even care if I hit Dean Malenko. I just want to hear the sound again. Leave me alone, Dean Malenko. I'm experimenting. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds like a chair or something hitting the ground. I'm not gonna lie. I really like. I kind of like Dean Malenko's or uh, Draylon's moveset. He feels pretty like quick and snappy. 
But he's got like grapple moves at the same time. So kind of moving off top rope. Oh, moonsault. Let's go. That's gotta be it. One. No, I'm not even close. Maybe not. Oh, turn out DDT. Pin this man. One, two, three. Boom, it's over. Jerry Lynn won the match. Don't think you can get away like this. Good for you. Keep up the good work. The very sight of you makes me sick. Keep walking. You can't beat me. Right, who else wants to fight me now? Let's see who's next. Ooh, a Hardy? Jeff or Matt? I feel like it's always Matt. I hope it's Jeff. It is Jeff. Nice. About to fight Jeff Hardy now. Jer Jerry Lynn versus Jeff Hardy is actually a sick match. Listen, it's hard to believe, but people are talking about me and Jerry Lynn, who is closest to a World Wrestling Federation title shot. I will say, it is cool that we have Tajiri as a champion, because within the story modes, you see different people um, coming out and, like, wanting the title. If you're wrestling with, like, Triple H, Rock, Kurt Angle, Undertaker, Rikishi, like, the top guys from this era, you would never have, like, Jeff Hardy and, and Eddie Guerrero and, and, like, some of the mid-tier guys coming out to challenge him. So, I actually, even though Tajiri shouldn't be heavyweight champion, it is cool seeing, like, different wrestlers come out and talk because it at least makes the game feel fresh. If you're serious about challenging me for the title, come out here and face me man-to-man. -man. All right, Jeffrey Nero Hardy. I'm right here. Here I am. What are you going to do? So, why don't you shut that big mouth of yours? Oh! Jeff Hardy is not impressed. I guess you were pretty serious. I'll show you the difference between me and the number one contender. Me, the number one contender, and you tonight. Such weird dialogue in this game. Jeff Hardy's pissed. Ooh, I can see his nipples through that mesh shirt. It's getting me going a little bit. Since I know I can pretty much beat you in any contest... How about I let you choose the match type? Uh-oh. Oh boy, how's that? We're going last man standing, because I think this is the only one I haven't unlocked yet, so we're doing this one. I'll tell you what, last man standing. <laughs> Look at his face! That's fine, that's a perfect match for me to show you blah blah, who cares. Uh-oh. I'll be announcing tonight's event. Oh, see, how did I miss? I love that sound effect, though. This game needs more sound effects. Just introduce the superstars. There will be no disqu- Oh. I thought he was going to say, there will be no disqualifications in the last man standing match. I'm just doing anything I can to get this guy on the other table right now. I'm not even talking. I'm just full focus. Here we go, this is my check time to shine. Come on, no! They always fall off the table every time! God, it's annoying. I didn't I didn't talk for like two minutes. I was just doing nothing but trying to get him on the table. You can't, it's like impossible. As soon as you get him on the table, they fall off anyways. Leave me alone. No pin for things but things figure out my crotch anyways. The arena is packed. I'd like to pack your arena. There we go. Got him. What a, match. what a match! Oh my god, Michael Cole, your tips are so frosted! Let's go over here. Fighting on the stage now. This is this is the end game here. This is where this match ends. Reverse. Nice. I'm sure Jerry Lynn will win. Gotta be it, right? Oh, look at that! I got a taunt that goes that coincides with the with the with the, with the numbers. Oh, that's beautiful. One, two, three. Uh oh, there's Tajiri with his belt. <clears throat> Whoever decides to challenge me, it won't matter. Okay. 
I changed some settings up with uh, PCSX, and it's making some lines on the character, so I think I'm going to have to change it back. Attention. The settings I changed were to try to alleviate the, um, the, the kind of ghosting that happens with the characters. When they move, you can kind of see like a like little bit of a second arm, and you know what I mean, like ghosting. So I was trying to fix that, but I don't like the lines are distracting, so we're going to deal with the ghosting. We're at WrestleMania now. True champion who has fought his way to the top. Battle test the warrior who let nothing get in his way. Finally, two of the most dominating forces in the World Wrestling Federation will collide. Finally, two... Oh, it's the same thing. In what will be a historical moment in Federation history. Okay, so here's the part that I'm... That's weird to me. We did all this fighting for the to, to get to the top to face to Jerry for the heavyweight title. Um, we have to lose our our match at WrestleMania in order to unlock McFoley. Can you believe that? We got to lose on purpose. I think this belt looks so damn good on me. Don't you guys think so? Why isn't he speaking Japanese? I mean, who else thinks they deserve to wear the World Wrestling Federation title? You know what I don't understand about this? This insinuates that like um that like they that the jury didn't have like a a match booked for WrestleMania. It's like he's waiting for someone to come out and like give him a match. Here comes Vince. Well, hold on there to Jerry. Before we waste any more time listening to your useless rambling. The Jerry did not take to that very kindly. Let's talk about my interest in a, of a fair match. You want your match to be fair, don't you? Look at Vince, what a stud. So in the best interest of fairness, I, myself, will be special referee for this important match. It'll be a last man standing match. Okay, so we got to lose this match. Time to sit back and lose. Nine, ten. That was the longest three and a half minutes of my life, but it's finally over. Okay, we're still on. You have to press no. I didn't realize that. We're good. There we go. Hey, Vince, the match always needs fair judgment, and the match will be a hell in a cell match. Oh, here comes Mick Foley. Okay, so we're good. Thought we messed up, but we didn't. Now we can actually fight. Here we go. I want to sell time, baby. WWF tonight. See, that's what I was talking about earlier. We can't miss WWF tonight. Get reverse. Let's go. This has been a pretty good match so far. Quick, quick pace, a lot of reversals. Not really a Hell in a Cell match. It's kind of like a, a fake Hell in a Cell match, but it's close enough, I suppose. All right, enough of this. Let's go outside. See if we can bust uh, through the cell with Jerry. <clears throat> Why not? I don't know if like uh, Jerry Lynn has like a power bomb or something. I probably got to do like a power bomb. I think to to bust through the cell. I don't think you can just use like a regular move. This isn't like the newer games where it's like you could do a, a grapple move to weaken it, and another one will make him go through. This game you have to do like specific moves. I think to get them through the cell, like power bombs and shit like that. Doesn't seem like you can fall off the cage in this Hell in a Cell, which is nice. I mean, it's good. It's you know it makes things easier for me, but. You know how many times I fell off a cell in the match and like I lose because of it? They like pin me because I got so injured. It's the worst. Back drop. Nice. I was right on the middle. Backbreaker. Nice. Oh my gosh. That is fast. That 
Get reverse. Nice. Submission. See if we can get that that DDT to be right on the middle here. I think this is good. Here we go. Oh no. Ooh, round the middle. It didn't work. And in this game, they're not pinnable from the top, so we basically have to just fight to Jerry again more. Yeah, I finish finisher again, and then go inside the ring and hit him with it and pin him. Hit some taunts. Look at the situation now. Every time he says that, I think of the situation from Jersey Shore. Am I the only one? I remember when I was a kid, I'd have to break every door before I ended the match. It was like a, I don't know, it was like a pet peeve of mine. I had to do it. And guess what? I'm 25 years old. I'm still doing the same thing. Come on, Jerry. Let's go, idiot. Come on. I don't got all day. I got other playthroughs to do. Get your ass in here. And please don't pin me. He's furious. This is a professional. This is a professional. It's so cool. I sure look hope so. Yo, look at the situation now. Oh. One, two, three. Wow, we just won the World Heavyweight Championship with a clothesline. Hey, I'll take it. Jerry Lynn finally wins the World Wrestling Federation title after an intense battle. Four unlockables. Four of them. Let's see what they are. All right, so we unlocked Mick Foley, last man standing match, crate parts one and crate parts 14. So we only have two more hiddens left. And then we have Stephanie and Shane. So we're gonna have to unlock these two uh, random ones before we can do Stephanie and Shane. So we got at very least two more playthroughs left. If you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new here at Tap Plays Games. I'm Tap by Play Games. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next playthrough.